uh, the voters wanted a change. Uh, and we are going to have to look hard and long at ourselves as to why they wanted that change. But for me, I think one of the issues is going to be the issue of trust. Uh, and uh, as part of that, we need to ask ourselves some very hard questions about delivery, about integrity, and also about our values. But uh, underlying all of this, of course, we have to talk as a unified party because I'm very, very conscious we lost a very, man very many uh, wonderful colleagues and friends on Thursday night uh, who worked their socks off as MPs and as candidates, but also, of course, other candidates and our volunteers who did so much work over the six-week period to try to uh, elect more Conservative MPs. It's interesting there you say you have to look like one unit. Yeah. I mean, is part of what you think went wrong the fact that, you know, weekend after weekend in here and year after year on TV, in the papers, we saw Conservatives knocking lumps out of each other. Do you think that's what did for you, a lack of discipline? I think, you know, voters want their government to deliver for them. When I'm walking around my constituency, uh, voters are concerned that we're, you know, we have their interests at heart, whether it's healthcare, whether it's supporting local businesses, whether it's ensuring that migration continues to fall. And the moment we start to lead conversations away from those essential elements, that then brings into question our delivery, but also uh, what we as a party are about, our values. And for me, I think one of the messages, and please don't think I'm trying to you know, turn away from the, the very loud, clear messages to us as a party, but I do observe that the support for the Labour Party in this election has spread very thinly, a little bit like margarine. And so I think there's a real opportunity for us as a party once we have reflected, once we have absolutely taken on board those lessons and acted on them, I think there's a real job for us to do to rebuild our party, and we will do that. We will get there. What went wrong with your values, then? So I think with... Um, uh, we know that the country actually is instinctively conservative. If you look, people want lower taxes. They, I'm not sure they'll agree with Sharon's assessment about borrowing more to spend more because of the impact this is going to have on but inflation. Do you think the we country know is still much. instinctively conservative when they booted you out and you've got your worst defeat ever? Well, I, I do, in terms of their values, their instincts, they are, I believe, still instinctively conservative. They want lower taxes. They want to build a better future for their children. They want um, us uh, to help them thrive in their personal lives and in their lively, livelihoods. And so those values are important to us all. What we need to do is to make sure that we are um, acting on those values, but also uh, ensuring that we have policies that deliver on the sorts of issues that we're but being what was it that was wrong, though? So if they've, the country has dramatically kicked you out, yeah. this is not 